So there's the dining room. The table with everything out of the cupboards. There's the day bed with boxes all stacked. Here's this little thing. Pomelos from my garden. Okay. You can see the day bed over there. I put the uh, tablecloth so that <clears throat> it wouldn't be so depressing every day where I sit there and eat my breakfast. So now we're walking into the kitchen. The refrigerator, which he thinks he's going to put in the dining room. Ha, 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 ha. Door into the hall. And then, of course, there is that wall that used to be lath and plaster. In the background, you see the washer and dryer. There used to be a wall there between the kitchen where the stripes on the floor end. And then... We start with, oh yeah, look at all those cupboards. They used to be just completely full. Look at that. Nothing under the sink except Jack, get out of there. Jack. Jack. Jeez. So, cupboards up. Guess what? There are going to be no up cupboards in the new kitchen. Jack. And down below, we're just going to have drawers. So I'm not down there with my handy-dandy long spatula trying to get stuff out. So the stove, see that gray part there? That used to be a big vent. And it made the stove stick way out into the kitchen. Up there to where the stripes end. So that was the first thing they did. Actually, the first thing they did was make the deck. So now back past these things, and here's the refrigerator on the left, and this used to be the wall there. You can see where the stripe's in, and there was the broom closet with the water heater, which they removed those walls, and they put a little broom closet at the end there which is too bad because it would sure be nice to have all those windows available, but oh well, next time. And so there are the windows out to the backyard. And this used to be the staircase down and the door out, no longer there. But I can walk all the way out and look out the windows all the way. And then they took all the lath and past plaster out and, oh, there's the uh, whole house electric on-demand water heater, which should be operational next week, I hope. At least they'll do that. Here's the little quarter bath that is going to be almost a half bath because, oh, I'm going to have to take those chickens down. Okay, so then on this wall here, used to be two windows, like that window right there. Now there's a door and a deck outside. And you can imagine how convenient those cupboards above the washer and dryer are for someone who's just barely over five feet tall. Oh boy. So I think I'll leave the Coke and the Snapple for the guys. That's their electrical stuff there and then I've got to get the rest of this stuff out in the outside off of there and that's it so on Monday they're gonna tear all of this stuff out they move those cupboards to the garage and then they're gonna pull everything off of this wall and this wall and put in new base cabinets with drawers after they plumb electrical and um, what's that other thing they've got to do? Oh yeah, install the cabinets. Also, this is kind of a neat feature. Here you may be able to notice that <clears throat> there's wood and then this kind of pink plywood or plasterboard which also goes down here below so what we're going to have here is that's going to be a pass-through into the dining room. 
and I'm going to try and get some kind of a stained glass thing to hang from this, the top down just part of the way. So that's what's been going on here, and I did all the rest of this stuff yesterday, and I can hardly walk today. Thank you for watching this.